thanks to everybody who's out there and tuning in to Mainframe Comic Con. I'm Ryan here with my good friend Mark, and we are ready to chat with the insanely creative minds and voices and producers behind Robot Chicken. Oh, yeah. Very excited. Oh, hi, Seth. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> what's up, Seth? Hey, how's it going? Oh, I'm disappointed. Oh, here we go. We got more people coming in. Oh, <laughs> uh, do we have word from Donald yet, or is he uh, is he bailing on us? Uh, he might have got the time mixed up. Brecken, did you text him? <laughs> you you just give me his number, and I'll get him on the phone. I, I can text him right now as we're as we're babbling. Okay, so uh, we have obviously a very talented group of people here: Seth Green, uh, Brecken Meyer, and Matthew Senreich. I hope I'm saying that right. Whoa, and I think bravo! Oh, wow, that's impressive. Yes. Let's just go clockwise here. We'll start with you, Seth. Uh, how are you holding up through quarantine? Everything going okay? Family's good and everything? No, it's a nightmare. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> everybody's dead? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. We're, we're fine, comparatively. Re relatively speaking, everything is fine. We've, um, uh, you know, just like anybody, we've got uh, close points of contact that are dealing with this. We are feeling the weight of the general anxiety and oh shit yes oh, good good you made it. <laughs> right, is his power out or is he just sitting in the dark i find that this is the best place to do anything is in the closet not mad about it that's no. what belly felt good assortment of ties there i see i think you know those aren't ties those are golf shirts something that no. i'm not doing nowadays because of this whole madness that we're going through <laughs> these are lovely lovely Ooh. golf shirts Ooh. oh there are, there are ties you're right. Right. There yeah. are ties. right there are ties yes you're absolutely right this is my this is, this is my gryffindor tie beautiful uh, three points to gryffindor gryffindor <laughs> <laughs> all right everyone tell me right now what house are you in i uh, would definitely be gryffindor Oh, She's like ready. what uh, Harry Potter well, either, that, either that or <laughs> full pop. I got uh, sorted into Ravenclaw, and I've always trusted that. Okay. I would be a Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, what about you? I'm a Gryffindor. Okay. I'm definitely a Hufflepuff, but that's okay. That's okay. Hufflepuff. There's nothing wrong with that. No, yeah. not at all. Uh, so thanks, thanks to all of you for joining us. Uh, I'm glad you're all doing well, and I hope you're uh, quarantining okay. I, I think that... Well, I want to kick this off with some robot chicken questions and just kind of let you guys roll with it. Seth, Robot Chicken was born in 2005. I mean, this this show is almost old enough to get a driver's license now. Did you ever <laughs> think you'd be here now? Oh, yeah. I'm always good at predicting the future. And uh, also, like, my my risk assessment is incredible. Uh, all of skills. my stocks are through the roof. Yes, I'm. You, <laughs> some people call me prescient. Um, no, nobody. But no, that's an insane, an yeah. insane thought. Um, we made this thing kind of as a goof just to make something um, and tried every which way to put it on the air and get it to people, but we never expected it to be something that would really connect. Um, and so that's amazing and fun. This thing technically started in like 2000 on the, when it was dial up on the internet on a Sony screen blast. And that shows, so it can technically get a driver's license, I think. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. Yeah, I've been no, watching no, since yeah, I was in high school. Years. You've been watching since high school. Yeah, and I'm old. It's great. How old are you? How old are you? I'm I'm about to be 34. Oh my! You're God. so I old. know. I'm you so ancient old. bastard. I don't you know. You are so old. I don't know if you're gonna make it. Gandalf. But listen, we'll have will. a tasteful service when you expire. <laughs> so, so uh, Donald, I wanted to ask you as as a, a voiceover main for this, uh, and, and maybe the rest of you can chime in. What what is the the process like for picking who's going to voice which characters? Is it just kind of like, hey, I, my impersonation is better? I'm, I wish I could sit here and be like, yeah, you know, uh, they just call me and I say yes. That's how it goes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it's it's great to work. With, it's always great to work with friends. And when you can make a little bit of money <laughs> and uh, work with friends, it's even better. <laughs> You understand. But as far as as far as like impersonations, they haven't gone to my strengths yet. Like I do a great Neil Diamond. They don't go to me for Neil Diamond. That's true. That's true. But what Donald leaves out is he's interning for us, like on and off. Like he's learned how to actually do stop motion himself. Like hey, can I ask a silly question? What's that? Yeah, go ahead. I, I see Donald's email address there, which is fantastic for me, but there's a <laughs> Hey, it's all right. 
Don't worry about it. I'm really sorry. Your your inbox is about to explode. I was about to say, Donald's about to get good. a lot of emails. I would I'm, definitely I'm, set I'm up about to I'm about to destroy right? this email account now that that has happened. <laughs> I no longer can be found at Donald Faison at Mac.com. That'll change. It's and not the most is, like the creative uh uh nom de plume though. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty it's it's pretty creative. I mean it's my name. Yeah. And it's at Mac.com. It's, it's not good enough broken. because if if I was emailing like Donald Faison at gmail.com, I would think there's no way that Donald Faison there's is no gonna way. get this email. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting Donald Faison at Mac.com to show up on this. <laughs> this isn't like Zoom. Zoom does it so much better than this. What is this? What is this that we're on? Zoom is so <laughs> StreamYard. <laughs> we, we are currently on StreamYard. If I was gonna pirate <laughs> utilities in someone else's name or get a bunch of things sent to um, an alternative address, I would never assume that Donald Faison at Mac.com was a real email. Listen, here. for those of you who email me at Donald Faison at Mac.com and don't get a response, don't take it personal, it is no longer an active email of mine. Oh, it better be. <laughs> well, this is a great use of our 30 minutes, guys. Oh, yeah, okay, let's get back to Robot Chicken then. Sorry, uh, you can also reach Donald at Donald at scrubs.com. <laughs> SBCglobal.net. I think dude, if you still got an SBC Global, you're doing your thing, dude. How do you I still do. have it? You I do? Got wow. I got mine. Oh my god. Oh, imagine my face having from laughing already. Yeah, imagine <laughs> having like uh what not Yahoo. What was the one before Probably. Yahoo? Hotmail? Hot, huh? Hot. was it like you got, what was the one that you got? Yeah. What was that one? AOL. AOL. That was AOL. AOL. Yeah. Imagine still having an AOL I have account. A, I, still I know have so many people that still account. have. Yeah. As an old man, I can say I still have an AOL account. It's fine. Yeah. I have, I have, <laughs> listen, I if you email account. me at Donald, holy shit, this thing is going up. Oh <laughs> my going God. Donald, <laughs> please show me. Show me your screen. Oh, oh, this is don't show me. a screen. You don't need Let to me display <laughs> any of your oh, login no. information on top of it. Donald, show me all your personal oh. stuff. No, can you see it now? Donald, send me your passwords. Yeah, I'm getting it now. <laughs> What's your mother's maiden oh, no. name? My mother's maiden name <laughs> what was is your, your face. Your first pet? <laughs> Donald, it's gone now. It doesn't say it anymore. Good. Thank you. All I'm right, pretty gentlemen. sure the damage is done, guys. It's I'm going to do my best to get this back on track because we need to talk about some robot chicken stuff. Good effort. <laughs> hey, listen, I, you got it behind your head. Everybody knows that we're here for robot chicken. No doubt. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> As as a bunch of very funny people, I, I'm curious when it comes to writing, how much of this is does it allow for improvisation at all, or is this really scripted because you're doing voiceovers and then mashing that up to stop motion? It's it, it's both, um, and you don't you don't uh, match it up. The you get to let the voiceover guide what the animation will be. So there's uh, you know very carefully written uh, material, but then we allow for improv where it won't. Uh, beat the joke, you know. Um, we, we love when actors come in and give us something really unique or something that's of them. Like we don't want to just bring somebody in to read rote dialogue. We want them to give of themselves, and that's what makes the animation uh, much cooler. I'm just gonna yeah, add yeah. to that. Where, like I think Seth ultimately sums it up for Brecken. Like our Boba Fett character, we've had a lot of like loose sketches where the dialogue's been written, but a lot of it is all improv. I mean, what do you think, Brecken, mm -hmm. that stuff? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, for the most part, we give a blueprint with the script and then there are times we stick to it 100%, but there are also times like with Boba and various characters and we've been doing it long enough, meaning like Seth and me, Donald and Matt, that we riff a lot. There's definitely like, oh, you okay, we got what's scripted, so now let's have some fun, let's riff a little bit. Some people like to do it, some people don't. I love it, Sethi likes it, Donald digs it, and so uh, my whole thing, I've said it before, is to make Seth laugh. You know what I mean? Through that little square glass box. I have it, but at some point I will. Nope. Dude, because you brought it to the attention of everybody that's on this chat right now, I'm fucking blowing up. I'm just going to put it out. I'm just going to be honest with you. I didn't bring it to the attention. Whoever brought it to everyone's attention, and you know, because not a lot of people, listen, I am blowing the fuck up right now. That's people fun. are saying things oh. like, hey, man, I just wanted to say hi. I'm a huge fan. Or things like. Are you going to reply? 
Donald, I'm no, not gonna reply because it's no longer my email. I it's no longer my email. As yes, soon as you logged on, I texted you, Donald, and I said, "Hey, man, your email's on there." Yeah, Thank me you. too. You what should check your texts right now because I was <laughs> like, "Yo, man, <laughs> maybe change that." You can also tell because my text said, "Love that." <laughs> <laughs> Got it. This is amazing. So, for all of you who are continuing to email Donald Faze on at this will be your, the last time you'll ever be able to email that email and get a response from me if I decide yeah, to respond. Really I'm I, that, okay? Now you're making a now you're making an incentive. Like people are Can going I to continue. That, yeah. <laughs> go ahead, everybody. Go go for yours. It's right, it's going it's going down. It's right. it'll never be here again. I wish I could send emails right now. <laughs> now we're kind of in the middle of something. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. I would like to ask the the writers, uh, Matthew and Seth. There's so many oh. ridiculous things out. There. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know, I know. What about Brecken? I know. I'm sorry. I would like to ask all three of you. Brecken's not paying attention. I can multitask. No, he was busy emailing Donald. <laughs> all right, all it's of a, the writers, because, everyone, um, you know, all of you. It's fine. Yeah. There are so many ridiculous properties and shows out there right now. Uh, like Tiger King comes to mind. Is there anything that's too ridiculous to make fun of? No. <laughs> nah. And we we really just try and think about what kind of pop is indelible. Like we we don't we don't like to chase flavors of the month, especially because the internet is uh, so ahead of everybody at um, making parody content about current events. And so because the production takes so long and who knows what joke is going to be funny like a year from now. We really try and stick to stuff that we are confident could last. Well said. But yeah, but there's probably going to be a lot of Tiger King stuff. Except that everybody's doing hilarious Tiger King shit right now. So are we going to write anything over the next five months to be on the air mm -hmm. like early 21 that would still be funny? <laughs> It's tough. I mean, again, it's it's who makes the room laugh. It could be anything. It could be something from, you know, 1990. It could be something from a month ago. Um, you know, we're a pop culture show, so whatever ends up coming up in casual conversation can spiral into just a, a funny sketch of some sort. Uh, Brecken, Brecken, I want to ask you yes. specifically, please, yeah. uh, do you think that there's anything that's too ridiculous to lampoon? <laughs> Me? Yes, Don't you. you know. No, the other Brecken, Brecken. As, a, as a writer on the show. Oh, do you right. have an opinion about uh, the writing on the show? No, I think, I mean, it comes down to personal taste. I think, honestly, like, you know, we weren't clamoring for a bunch of 9 11 sketches or anything like that. So, no, I think personal taste comes into it. And we really just, you know, if you have any complaints, email Donald at Donald. <laughs> this is my child. Oh. Um, okay. and, um, so, yeah. <laughs> I see you feed your kids gruel like in fucking Oliver Twist. You know what though? I'm, I, I will say this: the people that are emailing me are saying nice things like "you're the goat," or you know what I mean. So it's all respectable. I respect y'all all. Please know that this is the last time you'll email. Thank you. Don't email me anymore. I can't even, you shouldn't even be giving so much attention to this. It's all good. It is all to the good. Brecken, I like your, your daughter workshopping her comedy routine in the background. <laughs> Kiki's Vine is this. <laughs> this is what Vine is these days? Yeah. Seth, when did you turn into a furry? I thought we were doing a thing with costumes, and apparently only Brecken got the memo. I don't know. Thank you. Got you are. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I, I have a question. Um, I always do. I've always loved the stop motion animation with Robot Chicken. How was it decide or what was the process to deciding like, hey, let's do this stop motion as opposed like your typical general animation where drawing it, computer yeah, you're, animation. You're also imagining that there was forethought that went into the planning and creation of this thing. And we did not set out to make a show. We yeah. set out to make a thing. Um, Matt and I, uh, it was it was around the the time the second Austin Powers was coming out, mm -hmm. and I really just wanted to make something. And Matt and I had been friends while he was uh, the editorial director for Wizard, and I knew that he knew about production. And so I was like, "Hey, do you want to figure out how to do this with me?" No, is that not? I didn't know production per se. Like <laughs> animation producing was not in my 
and not in my realm of knowledge yet. But yeah. I, think, I think what it was was, you know, I worked at Toy Fair magazine and it was about we played with toys and, you know, Seth had an action figure and he was going on Conan O'Brien. And he's like, oh, maybe we can make a little short with, you know, me and Conan O'Brien. And we just set out to make, the, like he said, a thing. That was my whole pitch. It was like before Comic-Con was a thing in pop culture and the gag was me and Conan going to like a celebrity con because he was obsessed with Britney Spears. And I thought it would be really funny to bring a short onto the show instead of doing an interview, <laughs> bring a piece of content. Um, and Matt and I set out to make it and then... The, the, there was no other choice besides stop motion. It was the only way to animate action figures. Um, I can't remember if Toy Story already existed. It was just that kind of idea of like the the toys representing the the characters that they were in a comedic way. Yeah, and then all of a sudden it just spiraled one thing after another. In one, in one second, there's an alarm going off. Okay, have fun. Yeah, run. Um, yeah, it just spiraled into something else. It, it, it was one of those situations where it just took on a life of its own this little short and uh it was the second job for us it was not something that we expected to become our primary job and you know we love it we love i mean again when i get to tell people i get my job is to play with toys i'm not going to complain about this in any way it's nice for for the long list of original characters that have um come to fruition with with Robot Chicken. Brecken, is there any specific original character that you always look forward to voicing for? I think it's kind of the trifecta of Boba, Jesus, and Superman, um, who are all really powerful and all have, just the robot spin is that they're all really, really cocky. So. Yeah. Uh, and then Lohan, Lindsay Lohan and Jesus, Superman, and Boba. Those are my favorites. Very yeah. nice. But then there's also they like we like to mess with each other. Hey, sorry well, about that. We like to mess with each other, which is I don't love bathroom humor. I just never have. And Seth and Matt's favorite thing is to catch me for characters that have to say terrible words that have yeah. to be scatological yeah. bathroom humor. That's very funny, and you sell it very well. So you know it's your own fault. Our yeah. goal is to make him as uncomfortable as possible. Yeah. Nice. That that actually leads me into. Uh, I like to ask the question to anybody Donald? who I think is funny, which is all of you. Why is it that poop jokes are so universally hilarious? I know that you use this constantly, ro not constantly, often in Robot Chicken. And it's just, what is it about that joke that makes it so funny? Matthew, maybe we start with you. No, I'm, I'm starting with Brecken on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brecken, why is that funny? Wait, say that again. Why, why are poop jokes funny? I don't find them funny. <laughs> I get it. Here's the thing. I totally get it. I, I totally get why people find it funny and it is an easy go. I just, I've always been that guy that is the opposite of that. I don't know why. It's the 12 year old sensibility. It's, it's the child in you. You know, when you're running around, look, I got two kids out there who every time I say poop, will probably just giggle. Um, <laughs> and it just, it stays in you. Even though we've grown out of it, there's still that little aspect of you that holds on to that childlike uh, aspect of yourself. And yeah, so it's, it's fun to go back to. Um, especially again, we're playing with toys, which is like, a like environment, you know? So being able to use that for toys, I think go together very nicely. So jokes, Donald? What's up? Why do you like poop jokes? <laughs> Why do I like poop jokes? Yeah. Because they're so dirty. <laughs> That's true. Not wrong. He's got you there. Hey, Donald, I have a question for you. I think it's more directed since to you because you started as an intern and getting some background as to doing the stop motion, et cetera. How long does it take from a stop motion perspective to finish one whole episode? Of Robot Chicken? Oh, yes. I would say it takes about a month to finish one whole episode. Of I, the I, animation. Huh? Just the animation. Yep. Of just the animation. When you mm -hmm. add you add voiceover and stuff like that, that's done way before. But then you got to do a uh, storyboard, and from storyboard it goes into an animatic, and then in the animatic, from the animatic it goes up on a big board, and then you assign animators to uh, do certain scenes, and then they're not even doing. I don't know how. I don't know if they do full scenes at uh, Stupid Buddy or if they just do shots. But there's just so much that goes into making one episode of uh, Robot Chicken. So I would say it takes about a month to get one episode finished. And then and then they also, they do like several at a time. So, uh, you know, 
you have to have a really good line producer or somebody who's, you know, tracking all of this to, for 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 it to for it to work seamlessly. And you know, they do a great job there. Obviously, we're here talking about the what are what are you guys twentieth year? <laughs> what are you on your thirtieth year? You're old enough to drive. <laughs> So it takes uh, a long time. If you're asking, yep. as an animator, just to do just to do eight seconds, and a lot of animators are required to do that in a day, just to do eight seconds, uh, it seems like it takes forever. And, mm -hmm. Especially, if, and and that's just straight ahead. If the camera's moving, or you know what I mean, there's so many things that go into it. Lighting, uh, sets being built, so many things. So, <laughs> why? Because I know my shit. I know my animation shit. I'm gonna email you right now. <laughs> my email's not up anymore. Shut the fuck up. You'll never, you'll never be able to find it. It's just buried under other things. It's Donald Faison at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder right, how guys. many subscriptions you've been signed up for in the last <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> I don't know. There's a bunch of Tinder profiles. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> guys, so I don't mind, talk listen, I don't mind being on Tinder. <laughs> yeah. What? Your wife might. Yeah, I don't mind. My wife would be pissed off. <laughs> yeah, the top hit on Grinder. <laughs> What's Grinder? Oh, I could just yeah, sit with you guys for Grindr. forever. Sorry. Is Grinder like a sex app? <laughs> Why don't you go check it out. I <laughs> never heard of it. I Download it. Email. Email. <laughs> All right, guys. So obviously, you've hit the gamut of uh, all of our childhood. You know properties, Star Wars. You know the Walking Dead's out there right now. Uh, how do you choose? Like, what is? There's got to be a long list of of okay, properties that you want to parody. Like, uh, how, how does the the hierarchy work? Like, what's next? You mean for a special, or you mean just a sketch? Either or. Well, okay. Sketches we just let writers come up with whatever they want to talk about. Sometimes we'll give them directives if there's a particular area or property that we want them to explore. But for the most part, we like to let people that we bring into that room be inspired uh, in the way that they would be. And that's that's usually why they're in there. Yep. But for a special, it usually just starts with, hey, we know this person. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, it was one of those, it was a random situation where it started with Lucasfilm where it was all by accident also. It's one of these situations where we said it jokingly to Lucasfilm and then three weeks later we were up and running. Um, you, were, you were not joking. That was one of the most strategic things I've ever seen you do in real life. I was so impressed that I honestly like turned to you with my mouth open. I couldn't believe it happened. We were sitting up at uh, Skywalker uh, at Lucasfilm and uh, I thought, wouldn't it be funny just to ask them to do it? <laughs> Let me give some context. They had seen the Emperor phone call sketch and we had been told that George himself saw it and that he showed it to people. And they wanted to talk to us about making something. And at the time, they thought it was going to be interstitials or something that wrapped around a collection of fan films. This is, you know, 2005, maybe, maybe yeah. 2006. And so we got to take a tour of uh, uh, ILM and meet a bunch of people and have a meeting with them. And in that meeting, they were talking about these things that they thought we could do. And Matt said, what if we made a half hour, totally Star Wars dedicated robot chicken? And I literally went, he stepped on my foot under the table. I was like, that is a bold <laughs> ass. And they were like, hmm, interesting. So immediately we thought, holy shit, let's run this as far as we can. Let's absolutely see how far they'll let us go. And to our surprise, they let us go very, very far. We got to make yeah. three of them. And it's pretty bold content, especially. It, it shows, I, I thought, a real understanding of both the deep love of the brand and also its um, ability to have a, a sense of humor about its place in pop culture. We were, it was one of the best experiences getting to work with them. Um, yeah. It also opened the floodgates for you guys though, as far as like, you know, when when Robot Chicken did the Star Wars special, I think every other property was open to uh, being asked, hey, are you, a, would you guys be open to doing this? Look at what we did with the Star Wars special. Yeah. And it made it so that Marvel, it made it so that oh, so many other people would now be involved, DC. It made it so so many other people would be involved with you guys. But just because, and, and that's because of you, Matt. If you hadn't, if you were a chicken shit, none of this would have happened. <laughs> no pun intended with the chicken shit. <laughs> um, no, it's been great. And again, it all started with like the DC specials is because we, 
no Jeff Johns. And it came up in conversation where he was just like, why do you do Star Wars? Why aren't you doing this? And same thing with Walking Dead. It was Robert Kirkman who was like, if you do this, why aren't you doing you know, Walking Dead? Um, so people have now come out to us to ask us to do those properties. And those properties just need to have that kind of weight for us to be able to do a, you know, 20, a whole special. Movie. Yeah. To like dedicate a half hour to the thing. It's got a, we have, there has to be a lot of story potential there. Hey, I just want to shout out this uh, person who commented that they bought a GoBot screw head because of our show. <laughs> <laughs> you really just did yourself a favor and I think you know it. Send Donald an email, an email to thank him for that. <laughs> yes. Send him a, a picture. Send him an email at Donald Faison at Mac.com. <laughs> Yeah, all right, guys, so uh, guys, um, shut the fuck up. All right? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something right now. Each and every one of you could get run up on. It's not hard. I can find you. I hey, will this find is a, you. This is a pandemic, right. Donald. You'd be taking your life in your own hands. You put that listen, there listen. This shit got to end at some point, and I won't be in my closet forever. I'm Yo, just you roll up on me. You better have a mask and gloves, damn it. I will. <laughs> damn, the Whoever you run up on, please wear your off. I will have a mask and gloves when I run up on your ass. How about that? I'll see you. Just wear your golf shirt, too. I'll see you coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so we were talking about the the properties that you that you've been allowed or embraced actually to produce. Uh, is there anything that was shot down as off limits, or a, a creator that was like, no, you know, we just don't see that aligning with our brand? Not really. It's not like we've made pitches to companies to make uh, robot chicken specials, and they've said no. It's it, and and especially with the regular um, season of a show, you you get a lot of leeway to explore. Um, all kinds of things, as long as your parody is sound and your your comment is like appropriately transformative, then you can talk about anything that you want. Okay, so we are running <laughs> up to the end <laughs> of, of our interview, unfortunately. Um, but since I, I feel like personally that I spurned Brecken, I didn't mean to do that, but I want to give you a chance. No, no, no. To... You just sort of brilliantly tapped into something that is his own uh, insecurity. And it was amazing to witness in real time. I feel horrible. Uh, but don't, Brecken, don't, don't, don't. Well, because tell he's us. such a prolific and hey, contributive writer you, to the show. And he's also feel written. bad. If you're feeling bad about it, write me a note at Donald. <laughs> 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 I'll see you soon, buddy. <laughs> this is all Keep your eyes peeled. It's coming. Uh, but Brecken, please tell us when Robot Chicken is coming back. When can, you when should can start we start training the now? Second half of season start 10. training now, Brecken. You know that. We are, the second uh, half of the season is coming now, Matt. Start training now, Brecken. <laughs> uh, that's you a, call your seat. Uh, you call your uh, instructor uh, and you get ready. Someone, oh, what they call that episode. How's that for Brecken? Oh, yeah, do you know what it's coming out? What? It's coming out this summer. I don't oh, think it's it summer. They don't have a date. <laughs> but uh, 200th episode will be in there, and it. I think it's my favorite episode. Really? Our 200th? Yeah. yeah. I really, really like our 200th, guys. I'm super excited about it. Yeah, it came really together good. in an extraordinary way. We have a bunch of awesome guest stars in it, and I, I, I hope everybody yeah. digs it. Can you give us uh, any further hints? Um, I'll keep it. What, what, what did you say, buddy? You can say some of the guest stars. I can say that we got um, cinema legend David Lynch to. Don't do say what voice. Voice. Huh? Don't, yeah, just. No, no, I just said to do a voice. Yeah. Fabio. Right. I mean, Fabio's in it. <laughs> yes. that's, a, that's a broad spectrum between them. And he can't believe it's not butter. The weekend, <laughs> the weekend is in it. What did Ooh. you say? The weekend. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's a weird mix of Seriously? People. It's that like, is quite the gamut of, of people. <laughs> we've lost Brecken. No, I think, we? I think yeah, I think we found Brecken. Uh, gentlemen, I, I need to wrap this up. We got some more people coming on. I, I really appreciate you all coming Thank on. You guys. Thank you for Thank coming you. to Blood Robot Chicken. Cannot wait for the second half of season 10. Obviously, on Adult Swim, you can download the Adult Swim app and stream all of the prior seasons. Donald and... Faison at Mac.com. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Donald. It's all Anyways, right. it's stay all tuned right. for more interviews. We've got some great comic book creators coming up, and uh, I guess we'll. I didn't like that email anyway. <laughs> hey, thanks, everybody. Hope Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Stay safe. Bye. 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 Bye.